Mademoiselle Angeline, it is a pleasure to see you again. Detective, how wonderful you are here. Your travel was not too arduous, I hope? Watching from my carriage window, I saw the beautiful countryside and rolling hills. It was anything but taxing. I'm truly thankful you could make it here at such late notice. No thanks are required, mademoiselle. When one is requested personally, there is nothing more important. Gideon and I only wanted a small dinner to celebrate our engagement, but Maman was adamant on throwing this party. It may have been her idea, but it's the staff that have made it happen. Their efforts do not go unnoticed, from me at least. They have been with us for so long, I do my best to make sure they are happy and content. Only Maman, Elizabeth, my beloved Gideon, and you, of course. And what is your fiancé's opinion of the letters? He thinks me foolish for paying the first one if there is no secret to reveal. But... But you believe there may be a secret lurking, one that Maman is herself keeping hidden. She tells me nothing. Even though I'm a grown woman on the verge of marriage, she still treats me like the child I once was. Perhaps it is out of love that she protects you. It is in every mother's nature to protect their young from hurt. Not a single person. I don't know anyone that would stoop so low. The guests that will be joining us tonight, they are ones you can trust? I hope so, detective. Before the letters arrived, I would not have thought twice about it. They are all close friends of yours, I assume. Friends and colleagues. Gideon has spoken positively about them. It would be a rather underhanded tactic to do such a thing to someone you are doing business with. Oh, detective, I'm afraid I just don't know. She was quite adamant at the police station that she would not be returning to the house, but I assumed she would at least collect her belongings. Maman demanded that Elizabeth pack up everything she had and dispose of it. But I couldn't let that happen. Elizabeth and I took her belongings, what little there was of them, to a friend of hers in the town that Elizabeth knew of. But not even she had heard from her. I wanted to contact her, but I had no address or telephone number. Surely Madame must have had some information when she employed her. You saw how Maman was. As soon as Florette was out of sight of the house, it was as though she had never been there at all. Elizabeth was most upset at the news Florette would not be returning. And your mama's choice to ignore her accountability for the girl stopped you searching. Please, detective, you cannot make me feel any worse than I already do. If I could go back and live that day again, you must believe me. I would never have done it. Yes, Maman has quite a collection, although they are not all to my taste. Most, in fact. The painting of the saints, in particular, it is quite exquisite. Is it connected to the house in some way? 
The one in the hall? If you look above your bedroom door, you will see one of their names. I believe they were originally carved to watch over the occupant. Merci, mademoiselle. I shall find you if there is anything further I need. Get me any closer. Come, my little grey cells. on thought and I should not be surprised by my own skills of deduction See the logic in this.
some would say a lucky guess, I would say a moment of genius. I must take a different approach if I... Another success. Pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together. Detective. It looks as though I might be out here all weekend. What can I do for you? I'm a guest. I shouldn't have to go around chasing them. Perhaps the party preparation is more of a priority. It's not my fault they aren't ready. Why don't I wait here while you check in the butler's pantry in the east corridor? I think I saw a maid go in there earlier. I shall take up no more of your time. A bientôt. Thank you. 
Mademoiselle Elizabeth, what a pleasure to see you again. Detective Poirot, I'm so glad you could make it. Unfortunately, it is not purely for pleasure that I am here. Mademoiselle Angeline requires my attention professionally. Yes, Angeline has told me. I'm glad she called upon you, Detective. I've been rather worried about her. I will do everything I can to find the blackmailer and bring them to justice. I have every faith in you. I hope I am not interrupting you. We are all very busy, as I'm sure you can imagine. After I'm done, I can come to your room and help you with any further questions. No one escorted you! I'm so sorry! Everyone is just so frantic at the moment. Madame has requested all staff prepare for this evening. And you have been tasked with jobs in the pantry. Surely your talents could be used elsewhere. I do as Madame asks. Well, as Archie asks. Monsieur Sterling, yes, I met him when I arrived. A charming gentleman. He did give me some rather vague instructions to find my room, though. I can only apologize on his behalf. He would be mortified. I'm afraid I cannot be of much more help. But I believe you are located next to Mr. De Silva. By all means, the house is yours to explore. Ah, yes. Guests are requested to sign the book when arriving. I believe it gives details to the guests' room locations. It stated the male guests are to be staying in the East Wing. Yes, Madame does not believe in male and female guests residing beside one another. Yes, I'm afraid it may be all for show, though. She has not been herself, and it is not only I that have noticed. Madame Vandenbosch? Surely it must have had some effect on her. Madame has carried on as though nothing has happened. 
She has never been one to show emotion and she doesn't seem to notice how it has affected Angeline. The staff, on the other hand, Angeline means no harm, but there have been some instances recently where she has acted rather sharply with them. I hope not too sharply. A house of two Madame Van den Bosch's would surely be too much for anyone. Oh, yes. Um, well, I'm afraid it is far from a happy ending. Luke is sadly no longer with us. Oh, mademoiselle, I, I was not aware. It's fine, detective, honestly. I'm sorry, but I really must finish this. Bien sûr, mademoiselle. Merci, mademoiselle. Pleasure is mine, detective. Before you leave, detective, I have something for you beside the furnace here from Angeline. She wanted me to give it to you on your arrival. Merci, mademoiselle. Ah. Is there something I have? What can I help you with, detective?
I was right to pay it, yes? You have read them. What do you think? You were wise to consult me. But bowing to their threat may have only shown that you are willing to pay for their silence. Is the secret they speak of worth so much? I wish I could, but I have no idea. The letter was addressed to me, but I have nothing to hide. Maman took one look at it and disregarded the whole thing as someone's idea of a joke. She looked at it? She is not aware of the second letter. She doesn't know I paid the first. I thought I could make it all go away. Did you ask Madame if there was a family secret they could be privy to? She said uh, I was to ignore the letters and stop wasting my time with such foolishness. If there was something, she wouldn't tell me anyway. I couldn't ask Maman for the money. She was angry that I had even considered paying it. Gideon offered to help. Pardon, did he not think you foolish for paying? He did, but he said he couldn't stand by and watch me in so much distress. How honorable. We are soon to be married, detective. A loving partnership that faces their troubles together. They are his words. I did not mean anything by it, mademoiselle. You have found yourself a husband that will stand by your side and do what must be done to protect you. I am most pleased for you. As you would expect, she has been in quite a state. It was such a terrible accident. She kept it to herself for almost a week before she even told me. Pardon, how could you not know? Surely his absence from the house was noticed. Maman fired him after he returned to the house. She said he could not be trusted. But Mademoiselle Elizabeth's position was kept? I begged Maman, for them both. But she said if he was willing to go behind her back, what else could he do? Falling in love is a far cry from committing even the smallest crime, n'est-ce pas? She has been a kind shoulder to lean on through all this mess, but it is her I worry about. She has been through so much. I was not aware of what had happened, and by mentioning, I fear I may have only made it worse by dredging up the past. Do not punish yourself, detective. You are not to know. I don't think your honest mistake will make much difference to how she has been feeling recently. Merci, mademoiselle. I shall find you if there is anything further I need. Magnifique. Things are beginning to become clearer. Thank you. 
I must take a different approach if I am to un... What a revelation! Get me any closer. What a revelation!